Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, my name is Erica Scoiti. I'm a prosecutor with the Hall County Solicitor's Office and this is Maria Navarro. She is a victim advocate with the Solicitor's Office. Uh, so this year when it came time to nominate the Domestic Violence Officer of the Year, Maria and I both immediately thought of the same person and the same case. Um, so this is about a currently open case in our office, so I'm going to try to keep some of the details a little vague. Um, but essentially we have an open case where an individual committed an act of family violence against his fiance. That individual was arrested and as is standard in family violence cases, uh, he was given bond conditions to not have contact with the victim of that case um, as long as the case is open. This victim requested to the court to change the bond conditions from no contact to no violent contact so that her and her abuser could move back in with each other. Um, she made that case in front of the court. The court changed the conditions so that they could move back in with each other. Um, and that's exactly what they did. And shortly thereafter, two more 911 calls were made to that residence. In each incident, 911 callers stated that they could hear screaming from inside the residence, that they could hear both of them yelling at each other, and that they could even hear the victim say things like, don't hit me, don't kill me. Officers responded to the scene both times, and neither time there wasn't enough evidence to make an arrest of this defendant. And for most officers, that's where this story would end. But there was one officer on scene that day that didn't let the story end there. He went up to this victim and told her that he was concerned for her safety and that he knew that if things kept going this way, she was gonna end up being hurt or worse. So he told her he was gonna ask the court to change the conditions back to no contact to protect her. Sure enough, this officer called our office and asked us to file a motion. So we filed the motion, we ended up having a hearing and this officer came in to testify in front of the judge about why this victim needed to have no contact with this defendant. He came in and he explained the details of the case that were so concerning to him he testified about the cycle of violence and he testified about escalation of violence. And he also testified about his personal passion for domestic violence and why it was so important for him to make sure that this victim stayed protected from her abuser. Thankfully, the judge agreed with him and changed the conditions back to no contact so that this victim could stay protected from her abuser. We work with a lot of really good DV officers, but that's a first for Maria and I, to have an officer show that much care, compassion, and professionalism in a DV case like that. Every step of the way that we've dealt with this officer, he has been a shining example of what it really means to protect and serve. And I hope that other officers in his agency and in other agencies across Hall County use him as an example of what they should strive to be. So with all that being said, it is our honor on behalf of the Hall County Domestic Violence Task Force to present 2022 Domestic Violence Officer of the Year to Captain Matthew Mahaffey of the Flower Branch Police Department.